Before I put this fairing on, I just want to point out how it looks when you take it off so that as a reference, okay, so as you can see, um, the, the part that goes around the tank is all connected. The entire unit um, is connected, um, so the front fairing and a bit of the side as you can see. So, just so for reference, so you can see what bolts that you have to take off, right? Which isn't a whole lot, right? I think there's two on the side and then uh, the two that is on the frame here that I've just taken off, okay? So, uh, pretty simple, but I just wanted to do this as a reference for myself so that I can see what it looks like. So this whole part just comes right off, not... For a while, I was trying to think that just the um, this part here, um, right there, would come off, but not this part. See the side part there? But it's, it is attached, even though it looks like it, it isn't from these screws. It looks like, oh, you take the sides off, right? But good thing I had the manual. Okay, now the fairing's on. Just got to put in these screws. And that's it. And I took off the, uh, I don't know, the fairing part. Uh, those two silver screws on both sides. Uh, and then we'll move on to the gas tank. Before we move on to the gas tank, we have to connect <laughs> the wires here. So, come out here, you beast. We have to get it into this guy here. Uh, and then there's like a little oh, come on preparing for the dreaded tank lift so um there's that blue guy i have this rag preventing it from um see there's the blue tab and you actually these clip in um back and forth but in order to in order to take it off you squeeze right here right see how that works so when you have it on um, uh, you just squeeze it and it pops off. It takes a little bit of jigging, right? And then here's the, uh, two pipes now. It doesn't show on the video, but this guy is definitely fatter. So that's where the fat pipe goes. That's where the thin pipe goes. And then this is your, um, electrical connector for probably seeing how much fuel you have in the tank. Um, so and that's it and just as a note on mine I didn't have any cords or anything they just fit in and they slipped all the way up to the very top of both of them and that's pretty much it so um, I'm going to get the tank ready and put it on um, all I'm going to do I'm not going to show you um, the video of it because what the hell is the point that's boring but I'm just going to slip these guys on slip that guy on um, the reason why the tank's on its size too is it has uh, gas in the tank. Uh, what I did was I let it go down to two hash marks. You can probably get it down to even more and it does switch around but that's uh, the best I could do uh, before I decided to do the uh, the maintenance. Okay observation trying to put the tank back in. These guys have to slide. See those guys have to slide into these guys. Um, I don't know if you can see these um, right here. See those guys? So when you put it in, you have to lift the tank and make sure that they slide. Don't pay attention to all those wires. Um, they're part of my farkling. But this guy here, right, it's a, like a rubber stopper. And uh, I was having problems getting the tank in and now I know why. So there you go. Okay, kind of a cool little trick that they uh, have in the manual is, first of all, um, this is the bottom bracket that holds the gas tank. So, there's the bolt, and this is the top part. This goes underneath, under here. And then what you can do is prop up the tank with the metal thing there. And that gives you room to properly connect the... Uh, the hoses okay see and that's what it looks like holding it up and um 
I still have to connect the uh, thing properly there and with uh, it at two marks it didn't leak it whatsoever so that's cool and then I got to uh, connect these three guys here but I'm not going to unbundle them uh, until I get the main one done but uh, we're almost there.